Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. So here we are uh, getting ready for the start of uh, our Treats, Reads, and More program for the 2020 cookie, or sorry, all program membership year. Um, I am Jacqueline Strazula, and I want to welcome everybody for joining us today. Um, I know it's a Sunday. I know it's gorgeous outside. I know it's still summer, but um, it is time for, for fall. And we are so happy to have all of you here. We have a large number of people attending today. We have about 133 people, and I'm so excited to see that large number. Um, so I'm not alone with people from, from NIPEN. I have um, Ray Molno. He is our Director of Retail and Product Sales. So Ray is here to join us. And we also have Todd Wingen from Ashton Farms. And we have Doug Mostrom from M2. So Doug is new to us this year, um, and he'll go over all of that information. But um, uh, Doug will be covering the magazine portion and the online site, which is brand new and so beautiful and wonderful. And we have Todd from our Nut and Candy Company. Um, so welcome, everybody. We will um, answer any of our questions that we can during this call. And anything that we miss or can't answer, we'll email those answers out afterwards. Um, this, presentation will be recorded. So if you miss anything or have to get up and get a refill of a coffee, um, don't hesitate, but we will cover everything um, in detail today. So I'm going to pass it on to Doug. So Doug, take it away. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, Ray. Ray, do you have anything you want to say first? Sorry. No, <laughs> I just wanted to jump on and thank everybody for being here. Um, like I know it's a great, great morning, but this is very important. We're very excited. The new M2 system that we're Going into, I've had a little opportunity to play with it, and it's it's amazing. So I'm really excited to see what Doug and Todd have to say today. Thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you very much, um, Jacqueline, and thank you very much, Ray, and I thank you very much, everybody. Um, first of all, I uh, want to reintroduce myself, Doug Mostrom, and I do represent M2 Media. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of what M2 Media is. Um, we are a technology company that entered the Girl Scout world back in 2013 with the platform that I'm going to show you in a live experience today. Um, one of the signature items of our platform is the avatar, and I'll give you a little background on that as well. When we, um, th when we decided to create the uh, platform, we knew that the online component of the fall product program, as well as the cookie program, was going to continue to gain steam and become a larger and larger portion of the fall product program um, in general. And so therefore we realize that customers make a decision to make a purchase from a girl for various different reasons, being a relative, being um, cute, being motivated, being goal oriented, all those different reasons that a customer makes the decision and is motivated by the girl herself. So in the online world, we figured it was a, a great idea to replicate that girl and provide her with the opportunity to create a fun avatar that looks like herself so that the customers, when they receive communication through the online system, they would be able to see that avatar and say, you know what, that really does look like, look like my granddaughter or my niece or my next door neighbor um, or my daughter. Um, so it has really been a great, oops, it has been really been a great feature that has, um, uh, created some great success over the last seven years. We are now entering our eighth year. Back in 2013, we ran with four councils. Last year, we ran with 51 councils using our, our system. And this year, we're happy to announce that we have 100% of all the Girl Scout councils in America doing fall product program using the M2 platform um, and helping their fall product program and all working together to generate some some great excitement. Um, and that's what I'm here for today to teach you and to show you our system, get you excited about it. It's very easy. It's very easy from the girl and parent perspective. It's very easy from your perspective. When we built this, we had you in mind um, because we felt that the volunteers are really the core of this program. And without the volunteers, um, th there wouldn't be a program. Um, one of one of the volunteers on today, Judy, just said, what would you do without me? And Jacqueline said, not very much. But the reality of that, those two comments, it's very true. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do very much. This, 
the program wouldn't be a success. It wouldn't even be possible without all of you volunteers. And so at M2 Media, we decided to create a, a program that was going to be easier than anything you've ever experienced before in hopes that you would have a much more pleasant experience and want to stick around to continue being the magazine chair. Every time I always ask, why are you here? People say, because this is one of the easiest positions to volunteer for in Girl Scouts. And we're gonna make that come true even more. So first of all, thank you all for being here on a Sunday morning um, at that and taking time out of your precious weekend to learn about the Fall Product Program, to learn about our platform. We appreciate all of the time and the efforts that you put into this. Once again, this program would not be a success without you. You are dedicating all of your time and effort and energies to help the, these girls learn and develop these wonderful skills, these important skills that they're gonna take with them throughout their lives, be able to benefit in their interpersonal relationships, their marriages, raising a family, their careers, their schooling, everything outside of Girl Scouts and even inside of Girl Scouts, all of the things that they're learning as a result of you being here will help develop these girls into fine young women, successful women, and that is why I believe all of us are here because we are interested in the girls having great experiences and um, growing as a human being. So we're excited to kick off this year's Girl Scout year with you. And we look forward to, we have two taglines this year. One is bravely be you and the other is trust your strengths. And we put those together. We simply ask you to bravely share your strengths. Continue to with these girls as we move forward. Before we get into the Ashton Farm yummy products that Todd um, is going to introduce, reintroduce to us again this year, we wanted to take a few minutes to help everybody just kind of step back from everything and understand the value of this program. I, I kind of mentioned during my opening statement, the customers are motivated to make purchases from the girls. That's the first question I usually, usually ask is why do customers make a purchase from the girl? And if we, if we all understand that, and we as a company understand that, then we can create a great program to introduce to those customers in order to motivate them to make a purchase. A lot of the answers we receive when we ask the question, what motivates a customer to buy is centered around the girl. Again, she's cute, she's motivated, she's goal-oriented, she's entrepreneurial, she's polite. She says, please, she says, thank you. Um, she's a relative. The products from Ashton Farms are absolutely wonderful and I look forward to buying those every year. The cookies are absolutely wonderful during the cookie program and I look forward to buying more and more boxes of cookies every year. So the products, the girl, um, because I was a Girl Scout, I'll always support the program because the girls, um, you know, cornered me at the corner of the grocery store and said, hey, will you buy something? Whatever the reason is, is we're trying to create as you'll see in the system, we're trying to create all those different things that motivate a customer to make a purchase. Um, and you'll see that as I introduce this program. But the next question we always ask is, and more importantly, what do girls learn from product program? Not just fall, but cookies as well. And as you're, as you're sitting there, and if you're thinking of different ideas that come to your head, type in one word answers into the chat room so that um, Jacqueline or Ray or anybody else that's monitoring that can kind of step in and read your answers. Um, and I will also share some of the popular answers that I've heard um, throughout the trainings this year already and all of last year, um, because that's an important aspect of this entire program is what the girls learn from this. I don't believe, and I don't think everybody else believes this is just a, it's not just a money earning activity. The girls will walk away from this. So what are some other things that girls learn from this? Any, Jacqueline, are anybody able to monitor that and read some of those? Oh, well, maybe I can, I guess. Um, chat. I can't see the chat. Sorry. They, they're going so fast, but um, social okay. skills, money management. Yep. Um, Independence. Customer um, service, social media, people skills, yeah. financial skills, confidence. Entrepreneurship. Those, you know what? Those are really, I have a full list of, of responses because not only not always do we open it up in the chat for, for everybody to type in the answers, but I'll tell you what, every one of those answers is on my list because that is what volunteers commonly say is, um, you know, all those different things, empowerment, they learn self-esteem, self-confidence, 
um, entrepreneurship, budgeting, goal setting, um, and all of those different things. And when we really take a look at this from a step back, that is the true value of this program because we're all working towards making sure these girls have those experiences and learn those things. They step out of their comfort zone. They walk up to a customer, look that customer in the eye and say, will you please help me? Um, and they're going to be surprised at what happens when they say, will you please help me? Whether it's through the online experience or the in-person experience. And when they get positive feedback, meaning the customers smile, they say, yes, absolutely. And then they buy products. Imagine what that does for a person. Imagine what that does for a human being when you talk to a potential customer and they make a purchase from you. We all know that feeling. And that is what we want the girls to experience at a very young age so that they grow up with less fears moving forward. So the next question is, what have Girl Scout troops done with the money that they have earned? Again, it doesn't have to be just fall product. It, it can be the cookie program. What have troops done with all the money that they've earned through product program? Any answers on that one? Camping, they went on a cruise. They went to New York City, trips to water parks, Disney World. I want to go to Disney. Yeah, right. Um, Hershey Park, community service. Um, another animal park, badges, Niagara Falls. Donations. Ithaca, Gettysburg, another Hershey. God, they're going. Somebody Great went to Switzerland. Rafting. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> so all of those, uh, you know, are, are very common answers as well. Switzerland was a first. Disney World was a first. But in general, travel, camping, um, badge ceremonies, social engagements. Um, don't giving back to the community. All of those things are things that girls get to experience as a result of their hard work. And in our system, we try to make it as easy as possible by having great products that customers can't say no to. And by being able to provide an online portal for them to also utilize it. This is a very easy program for them to participate in and get orders, but they just have to take that first step and reach out to the adults and say, this is what I'm doing. This is what we're trying to do with the money. And will you please support me? So we're providing as many tools as possible to make this as easy as possible. But then again, the girls are learning all those things and they're having all these amazing experiences. What we just heard about, how many of you have traveled to Switzerland? I mean, the girls are traveling to Switzerland, they're traveling overseas, they're going to New York City, they're going, and, and these are experiences that adults would love to have. So imagine how the girls are enjoying all these experiences. And lastly, we asked the question, what are, do you know any troops that have actually done something to give back to their community? Um, any of you know any, any things that troops have done to give back to their community with the money? Uh, they gave money to the school for snack milk fund, which is uh, awesome. Um, there's the food bank, um, adopt a family for Christmas, donation for toys for tots, so sponsored a community garden, uh, feed our vets. So, God, this is going so fast. This is a, real quick, I want to answer one of the questions. Yes, this meeting will be available again. We will be broadcasting it again. Fantastic. You know what? Uh, I'll tell you what, those, I have a whole list of answers that people told me about the way troops give back using the money that they've earned. And I just heard about five new answers that I have not heard in the last 15 months. So, you know, what's happening up there at the Girl Scouts of Nipan is even more incredible than what I'm hearing around the country because, you know, adopt a family for Christmas. They're using the money to buy Christmas presents for a family that may not have been able to receive the, the, the presents during the holidays that most other families do. That is something that changes a girl's life when they see how important it is to help other people and they're using the money that they actually earn themselves to give to that family. So all of these different things that Jacqueline just read are amazing things and all these things that you've just provided in that chat and more are again, three main things that come from all of this product program, what the girls learn, what they experience and being able to give back and understand what that feels like and how that changes the lives of others are very, very important. The next question we quickly go to is, why are you here today? <laughs> you can certainly type in more things to your chat on this one, but you know, try to work one word answers. Why are you here today? Um, and if we all understand why we came here in the first place, I think we can all once again appreciate um, what this program does for Girl Scouts and 
Uh, I'd love to hear some more. So why are you here today? <clears throat> Not just today, meaning why are you part of Girl Scouts of Nine Pen as a volunteer? Uh, a lot of them are saying my daughter. <laughs> okay. Help girls succeed. Friendship. Friendship's good. Mm -hmm. Why love do you volunteer with girls? And also, why do you volunteer for this particular program? I gave, I gave one of the most popular answers already, but if that's, if there, maybe there's another reason. Uh, core values, empowering girls, I love that. Teach girls, uh, the Girl Scout skills. I was a Girl Scout and shaped my life. Great. Help our girls succeed. In the community. Yeah. Empower well, the next generation. Power the next generation, help girls succeed, um, empower them, um, help build their own self-esteem, this changed my life. All of those are fantastic reasons for joining as a volunteer, the Girl Scouts of Nipen, and being able to share with all the girls all these different experiences, is your strengths, um, and show them how to bravely be themselves um, you know, throughout the year. So those are great. Believe it or not, there's many different reasons. Somebody raised their hand the other day and said, because my husband just retired and we can't spend all the time in the house together at the same time, so I needed to get out and do something. And Girl Scouts was a great, um, a great organization that I wanted to support with my time to get away from my husband. So all, it doesn't matter the reasons that you're here. It, I mean, it does matter, but we're all here for one reason or another. And again, you got to understand that whatever your reason for being here, it's all that time, energy, and efforts that really do matter. And you're making a huge impact on these girls. You are actually really directly impacting the future of these girls by facilitating what we know as the largest girl-led entrepreneurial program in the world. And when you step back and, and you think about that, holy smokes, the largest girl-led entrepreneurial program in the world there's nothing bigger than it, and you're part of it. You're, you're facilitating it. You're there at NIPEN, and you're talking to the girls in that area um, that is, are part of this bigger, bigger organization and all doing the same thing, learning together throughout the country, throughout the world um, to grow as girls. You're assisting these girls and teaching them how to earn funds to support all of these amazing girl-led adventures and to give back to the community and all those adopt a family for Christmas type of ideas. But locally, nationally, throughout the world, you're providing these girls the opportunity to share their skills, not only learn them, but to share them with the other girls in their troop, with the girls outside their troop at school and the friendships in their community. And maybe when they get to your position and they're volunteering so they can share it with the girls that are filling the footsteps that they created, um, uh, footprints that they created when they were a part of a, a Girl Scout troop. So please understand all of us at Girl Scouts and IPEN, Ashton Farms, M2 Media, we all understand and appreciate that you're providing all these life-changing experiences by trusting your strengths and allowing these girls to bravely be themselves as well. At this point, I'm going to hand it over to somebody that most of you already know, have enjoyed for many, many years, and that's Todd Wingen from Ashton Farms. Thank you, Doug, and really so great to see everyone here, and I'm glad to be part of the, uh, the kickoff for your Treats and Reads uh, program for this year. I'm going to now next take you through the section about the Ashton Farms updates and the products and the nuts and chocolates and snacks. Uh, two ways that customers can order and girls can participate in person with the direct sale of items through the nut card and also online where customers can pay for items with a credit card uh, from an email connection or social media link that is received yeah. by the customer. Yeah. And they can then order that way too. Uh, so let's get, get a, a move forward here to the Ashton Farms facility. Uh, Ashton Farms has been a licensed vendor for GSUSA for about 25 years, always all about uh, high quality, uh, throughout the production cycle and facility. Uh, and also I wanted to point out that we have the highest ratings possible for safe food handling. So with everything going on with COVID-19, it's a point that we just wanted to make so that you're comfortable that uh, every, every step along the way with regard to the Girl Scout products is being hand handled in the safest way possible. And even before 
COVID and the situation that we're faced with, uh, visitors that were in the facility were required and still do uh, wear a lab coat and a hairnet. You may recognize someone in that picture from your Treats and Reads program. Jacqueline from NIPEN was there and toured the facility and the chocolate factory and the warehouse probably a few years ago now. Uh, additional steps that are being taken at Ashton due to the situation with COVID. Uh, production teams are wearing masks, are being staggered for lunchroom breaks. There are plexiglass partitions where necessary and needed. Uh, different and additional sanitation steps are being taken to make sure once again, everything is as safe as possible for the uh, production and distribution of Girl Scout products. Let's take a, qu a quick look back at 2019 and review some stats. The online girl delivered option went crazy, over 200% increase. It definitely contributed to your strong sales results, but it's also a point to make that it's a great indication that your customers and your girls have already bought into the online purchasing process. And that trend, uh, as Doug mentioned, would be expected to continue to uh, go in that direction. Your online direct ship sales also increased nicely, as did your overall nut and chocolate sales. Your top three selling items, Peanut Butter Bears, Dulce de Leche Owls, and Dill Pickle Peanuts, number three. Top selling item online was the thank you donation. Just also an FYI, the girl participation was about even, but the true participation was slightly higher over the previous year. And this rounds out your top 10 for NIPEN on the right-hand side of the screen as compared to the national top sellers for Girl Scouts and Ashton Farms for last season. So as you can see, past the dill pickle, you've got the dark chocolate uh, caps and you've got the, the chocolate covered raisins, et cetera, rounding out your top 10. And this is your 2020 Nut and Candy order card. Of course, all of those top 10 can be found on the order card for girls. Uh, it's an excellent lineup, great variety, outstanding quality, and really great value for customers. Uh, pricing between $6 and $9 for the products that are available is really outstanding. Also point out a holiday gift is perfect also for support of troops and girls. The timing is ideal for distribution of the products around the holiday time. And it's a really great way to uh, get additional orders for girls. Teacher gifts, neighbor gifts, really just about anyone that would appreciate a great Girl Scout product for the holidays. True proceeds. I want to say a very lucrative opportunity for troops to earn a very high level proceed for your participation. 20% of all sales is available for uh, the troop to use uh, at their discretion uh, for whatever that goal may be that they'd like to uh, have for the proceeds uh, uh, locally. Uh, juniors and older can opt out of rewards and receive even a higher level of proceeds. It then jumps up to 25. The care to share donation is the thank you or the donation option. Customers make a $6 donation toward uh, nut, a nut purchase and they will be donated to support the military through an organization called Operation Gratitude. Operation Gratitude is an organization that Ashton Farms has partnered with for a number of years. And they do an outstanding job of distributing care packages of items that have been uh, donated uh, to them to get into the hands of the military. I would point out that uh, there is a special care to share patch available for girls to earn through participation in the donation option for, uh, for the program. We always encourage and a good idea for you to point out to your troop managers and volunteers to encourage the girls to set a goal. When they have a goal, they're more successful. When they do go through the exercise of deciding what do we want to use the money that we'll receive and earn through participation, they will be more successful. And this will be available, by the way, the chart that you see on the screen will be available for download as an added tool to be used by the, uh, by the troops uh, at the NIPEN uh, website. 
Now, each year we have a collectible Girl Scout tin. This year it's the Girl Scout Brownie uniform tin. And this is the second in a series. Uh, last year we introduced the Junior uniform tin, uh, always loaded with the mint treasures, which are the individually wrapped mint chocolates with the Girl Scout logo. Uh, this year's brownie uniform tin is from the 1980s and will be available for purchase uh, at $9. This is the second in a series, which will represent at least three uh, in total, uh, including next year. The holiday tin this year is the winter chickadee scene, and it has the chocolate covered pretzels available for $8. Again, highlighting the opportunity for a gift to be purchased uh, from the, the girl to support the troop and the Girl Scouts. A new product this year, peanut butter pretzel mix, will be available and packaged in a resealable stand-up bag. This mix is delicious, savory, and sweet uh, with pretzels, uh, peanut butter cups, peanut butter M&Ms, cashews, and nuts for $7. Did anybody notice what we may have removed from the lineup uh, to make room for the peanut butter pretzel mix? Save you the guess, it's the coconut cashews, just in case that's a favorite of someone that had to be uh, uh, replaced due to the statistics. It will still be available online for purchase if that's one that you like. Rounding out the rest of your lineup, whole cashews with sea salt, Thin Mint Almonds, a great Girl Scout name and a great Girl Scout product. Thin Mint Almonds are enrobed with a dark chocolate really delicious uh, coating and available for $8. And just again, to get you thinking about your own favorites since we're not together and doing sampling, deluxe pecan clusters, dark chocolate caramel cap, also with sea salt sprinkled on top. Chocolate covered raisins, a good one. And then some additional box chocolate options uh, dark chocolate mint penguins, owls, peanut butter bears. I always get the uh, question, you know, with me around uh, all of this stuff, you know, what is my favorite or do you ever get tired of it? And I say, yeah, no, that one is, oh yeah, come to think of it. No, I do like the owls too and on down the list. So you're seeing a close up of some of the products that will be featured for this year for your girls. And of course the fruit slices in the pop top can still holding at $6 and two peanut options. Dill pickle peanuts, as you saw, very highly uh, uh, ranked in your top sellers for Nipen and honey roasted peanuts, uh, both available in a pop top can for $6. There are additional items that are available online through the direct ship pro uh, uh, process and program, which we're going to talk about in some detail, but here is a snapshot of some of those additional items that can be ordered and directly shipped to the customer's home or business. You've got some higher end tins uh, with jumbo cashews, for example. The gourmet blend is a uh, package of mixed nuts. There's gourmet caramel corn, and as you can see at the bottom, a one pound jar of the uh, honey roasted uh, mixed nuts. So on to the, the, uh, the online options for customers to order. The online girl delivered, as you saw, went through the roof last year. And this is where this option is provided to customers and they can order online from the link that they access through a girl email or on social media and uh, make a selection from the items that are available on the nut order card. So it's those 15 items plus the donation option. They pay with a credit card, as I said. These products will come to the troop and then delivered by the girl with the other items that are ordered from the nut order card. So it's a simple step. The girl delivers the product, so no money to be collected. And one point to make here, there's no need for these sales to be entered either by the family or by the troop volunteer. The sale will automatically populate over into the M2 operating system in all the right places in reports and delivery tickets and so forth, uh, just as it should. So it automatically transfers into the system.
no fees to be paid by customers or troops for girl delivered orders, and the last day for the girl delivered to count for credit and be available as a link is the 13th of November. Next online opportunity is the direct shipped ordering. And this is again an option for customers to pay online for a larger and expanded list of product options. And this, in this case, they need to be willing to pay for the shipping because the product or the box of products will be sent directly to the customer at home or at their business by way of FedEx. So these items will ship within about one week to 10 days direct to the customer, and of course, all sales count for credit for the troop and for the girl rewards and patches. This is an example of the online shipping chart and costs. Just like in the past, it's based on the size or the dollar amount of the order for the customer, and the relative costs of the shipping scales down with the size of the order. So I say it's a little bit pricey, at the beginning or at the lower tier, but it does scale down for uh, example, an order size of 50 to $60, which would, could be eight or 10 Girl Scout items for $14.50 for shipping at the standard level is really not that bad. So this is a giving you an example on how the shipping cost works for the direct shipped option. Of the total list of Girl Scout items available, 22 of them are naturally gluten-free. So for customers that have a sensitivity or an allergen around gluten, there are still options that can be purchased uh, for them to enjoy and to support Girl Scouts. The link you see here on the screen is on the nut and candy order card also, but you'll be able to find this on the site so girls, customers can access this and get the information about all allergens or ingredients and nutritional information for the products before they make a purchase. Now, regarding the nut and candy delivery, uh, most likely you're here representing your service unit. And just like in the past, you will be receiving the product uh, to your home from the delivery agent. And it will be all of the products that were sold by your girls and through your troops for your entire service unit. There's no rounding up to a full case, either at the service unit level or at the troop level. So you have all of the products that were sold by your girls distributed out to the end to the troops or in the end to the troops, and you should be done. You should have no products left and that process should be complete. A reminder, count the nut and candy items carefully. The delivery agent will arrive with a delivery ticket uh, and they will ask for you to count through the items. You'll get cases and individual pieces of each flavor. Make sure you've got everything and sign off on it. Please remember, keep the product in a cool, dry location and safe from any other danger. Uh, make arrangements with your troop volunteers to come and get the products from you at a time that's convenient for you, but also close as possible to when you've received the product so that they can get out to the customers uh, as quickly as possible also. Pre-sort the items if you can ahead of time so that you can quickly and efficiently distribute the products to your managers uh, using the reports that are found in the M2 operating system. Uh, so you'd have the opportunity for them to sign off on the receipt of the product Depending on where things are in December when you receive the deliveries, um, uh, make sure about any kind of safety protocols that might be in place, such as maybe even scheduling the pickups to be done individually by the troops and have them come and get the items so that there's as little um, uh, congregating as possible. And that might make it easier for you all also to efficiently distribute the products out. Your delivery agents, the trucking companies, will be wearing masks and gloves and practicing all of those safety uh, protocols also, if that is still the situation with regard to um, the way things are as we get toward December. There is an excellent um, tool in the M2 operating system for you at the service unit level. It's a product pickup scheduling option. So you can set a time range 
uh, or time slots that troop managers can select from, and that can help you with the spacing and the distancing of, and whatnot of the efficiency of those pickups. So that's pretty much it for the, uh, the nut and candy process and update for this year. I will now hand it back over to Doug to take you through the ease and simplicity of the M2 operating system and the excitement around the avatar and other features that are available in the platform. Well, thank you very much, Todd. Great job on that. I love those Ashton products. I know all of the customers at Girl Scouts and IPEN love them too. And I believe that this year, um, based on the fact that chocolate sales across the country in retail are up 6% um, during COVID, I think that'll help result in a great sale um, of Ashton products and for the overall um, program here at Girl Scouts and IPEN. So, Without further ado, what I'd like to do is, first of all, once again, thank you for allowing us to partner with the Girl Scouts and IPEN and Ashton Farms in this year's program. Um, and I'd like to show you more about how the actual online system works. I'll reiterate a few things throughout that Todd already had mentioned, the two ways to participate. One is by the girls using the Nut Order Card in person, and the other is by going online. In, in the um, materials that will be handed out to you to be um, distributed all the way down to the girl, there is a M2 flyer. And on that M2 flyer, it talks about personalized patches that are available with the avatar on it. I'll go over those in a little bit more detail, as well as the easy steps of how to go on to the website um, to create the personalized site and simply launch your program with the email addresses in there and all the rewards that you'll be doing. What I'd like to make sure you all understand is we have built into the reward program um, a, uh, a plush item this year that replicates the three-toed pygmy sloth. We chose the three-toed pygmy sloth as this year's theme animal, if you will, because we had great success with doing this type of thing last year when we adopted the northern white rhino as our theme animal. Now, the northern white rhino, just to give you an example, only has two northern white rhinos left on the entire planet, and they're both females. So we built a lot of learning around the northern white rhino, explaining to the girls how science and technology was going to be used um, to perpetuate that species, or to try to perpetuate that species using DNA, using in vitro and a surrogate rhino of a different species to try to create a genuine northern white rhino, and then um, build that species back up to acceptable levels. What we found at the end of the program last year was that more northern white rhino plush animals were earned in the reward program than ever before because learning about an animal that um, has a very cute plush animal and learning about it, the girls fell in love with it and they ended up working harder than ever before to earn that plush animal. So when we chose a three-toed pygmy sloth, it was around the same concept because there are it's not like there's only two of them, but there's less than a hundred of them left on the planet. And they all reside and live down in uh, Panama, but their, their habitat's being threatened by development. Um, so they are dwindling in numbers very rapidly. So we want to bring in some awareness to the three-toed pygmy sloth, um, teach the girls a little bit more about the sloth, the fact that they swim, that they eat the leaves off the red mangroves, that they're only six pounds or less, and they are super cute. So. When we go over to the reward side and we look at the plush animal, you will be amazed at how cute, cuddly, and soft um, it is. And um, hopefully the, um, be able to teach the girls as much as possible. So they too will fall in love with this, work really hard so that they are successful in earning the plush and the overall program at Girl Scouts and IPEN is also successful. Talking about the rewards, one of the things that we pride ourselves on at M2 Media is providing rewards that end up being better than people thought they were. We know that they can only see the rewards on the back of the order card or on the online system, and they can't touch and feel before they necessarily earn them this year. So what we decided to do and really focus on the quality, because we want every girl that once they actually get the rewards to be pleasantly surprised than to be mildly disappointed. Um, and we want them to say, wow, the Girl Scouts of NIPAN really stepped up. These are awesome rewards. 
everything from the um, the little pen. I don't know if you can see it in the screen, but the little pen when you when you take the uh, cap off and you start writing with it, it's a very satisfying experience because it's not a ballpoint pen. It's one of those fine tip, really smooth writing pens that has a unbelievably cute and cuddly um, little sloth up here, a uh, rubber sloth that can be taken off the pen and put on something else. So from there to the t-shirt, to the, um, the tote bag, um, and the one down here at the bottom, let me tell you about that. That is a unbelievably wonderful Sherpa blanket. This is over six feet wide and five feet tall, and it has that Sherpa fabric, and it has an unbelievably really cute mural on the front where it says bravely be you with the sloth hanging upside down with the baby sloth in the mama's belly. It, you know what? A little secret. I'm engaged to the girl that finds all of the rewards for M2 Media, and we have lots of these blankets around the house, um, and all the entire family loves going down and watching movies because um, we all have our own Sherpa blanket that we get to use. So it, I promise you, it is great. The, the sloth socks, for instance. If you've ever heard of aloe socks, when the girl opens them up out of the package, she'll be like, these are the softest socks I've ever, ever held before in my life. They're cute, they're warm, they're soft, and... Um, one size fits all, by the way. So besides all the great rewards um, that will pleasantly surprise all the parents and the girls, we have really some neat patches and that's built around our theme. So we have three main patches. One is the sloth swimming patch with the 2020 on it. And all girls need to do to earn that is launch their online program with 15 or more email addresses. So I'll show you how quickly and easy and fun it is to launch your online program, put in email addresses and earn that patch. Another patch that we have is the sloth hanging upside down with the trust your strengths. All they need to do to earn that patch is simply reach $125 in, online, or in total sales. And I said total sales, that means not order card sales, that means um, online sales. That means nuts and chocolates only, magazines, or a combination of any of those items. As long as they get up to $125 in total sales, they will earn that patch as well. And then there's the Bravely Be You patch that fits in between the two. And that patch, all they need to do is sell 10 or more Ashton Farm sweets and treats items. So nuts and chocolates. So once they reach 10 items on that, they will earn the patch that um, ties all these three patches together in a really cool seam. Again, you have the wonderful plush, um, the, the, the plush sloth. And just a little bit on that is each of these sloth items, um, sloth plush items, they have Velcro on the paws. So they can put the, the feet together, they can put the arms together, they can hang it upside down like they naturally, um, uh, their natural position in, the, uh, in their own habitats. They can do lots of cute and fun things with those. So lots of great rewards that we've built into the system. I will talk a little bit more about the personalized patches right now. <clears throat> I mentioned before that our signature feature on our website is the avatar, the ability for the girl. Let me go back a little bit. And there might be a little bit more on that. But the ability for the girl to create her own patch. And uh, I'm sorry, create her own avatar and make that avatar not only look like herself, but sound like herself. And then the ability to earn a patch with her avatar on it and her name on it. So this year, I'll show you a little bit more about that in the live site, but this year, all the girls need to do to earn their own personalized patch where they choose the background of her avatar sitting in a kayak with the sloth swimming behind her or sitting on the hammock on land with a sloth hanging in the tree behind her. All she needs to do is launch her online program with 15 or more email addresses. And remember, she'll get the sloth patch just for doing that too. And then reach $250 in total sales. Again, online only uh, on the nut order card, nuts and chocolates, magazines, or any combination where it totals $250 in total dollars sold, regardless of the, the products. You too can get in on the fun. You too can earn a uh, volunteer patch. You get to be in the fun by creating your own uh, avatar and then earning a patch um, with the avatar on it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to provide you with your own volunteer patch as a, as a gift from M2 Media. Um, the volunteers for the troop leaders, if they are to service unit manager, volunteer, then they can earn their own patch when their troop gets up to just $750 in total sales. 
So basically, if three girls in the troop earn the personalized patch, the troop leader will earn their patch as well, or a combination of girls reaching a grand total of $750 total will get that uh, volunteer the patch. The patches are created in the system by you, by the girls, and then automatically sent to your home addresses after the uh, rewards have been earned. You will receive a free patch automatically. Um, you'll receive a free patch automatically. Uh, let's see. Sorry, there's a little writing on that, that wall there. Sorry about that. Um, stop doing that. Okay. You'll receive your own patch um, uh, once you put in the, the mailing address. Those will be automatically sent to you when your service unit reaches its first dollar in sales. We say that the dollar because something needs to trigger, trigger that um, in the system and a dollar will do that. So that will go all into production. Chew on this. Celebrate your achievements from the Treats and Reads and More program while setting goals uh, for 2021 with a pizza party. Compliments of GS Nipen. Juliet's can celebrate too. Um, and maybe if the, uh, Jacqueline, if you want to talk, or Ray, you want to talk a little bit more about this one. Sorry for putting you on the spot. Are you there? So the pizza party is a really amazing opportunity to celebrate everyone's successes with this program. Everyone works really hard. And we always hear that, you know, they, they like to have troops like to have get togethers with their girls to celebrate and hand out the rewards. So why not offer them a pizza party? Um, so it was a really big success last year. We had a lot of troops that earned it. And yes, if you have not redeemed it, you still have until September 30th to redeem it this year. Um, and you know, a, a troop didn't want pizza, they wanted ice cream, so they had ice cream as well, but we're really just kind of calling it a pizza party. Um, so it's just a really great way to say thank you to the girls for doing just uh, like a lot of extra work and working really hard to achieve those goals and work together and, um, right, anything else that I, that I missed? No, I, I think you hit it. You know, you know, I'll tell you what, Todd mentioned what the proceeds are. Todd was correct. It's very generous. This is a council. This is the council that has the highest proceeds for their troops in anywhere in the country. Um, and they're also doing things like the pizza party that I don't see really anywhere else. So hats off to Girl Scouts of Niapen, as well as, you know what, all of you are being treated really, really well by the Girl Scouts of Niapen with all these different incentives, parties, opportunities, and proceeds. So let me introduce to you the online experience. What I'd like to do, first of all, is take you live into what the girl and the parent will experience. And then one, I'll come back to the slideshow and I will continue to talk about your experience as well as the customer's experience before we wrap everything up. So if I'm going to, I'm going to stop sharing this, start sharing my actual online um, screen here. And this is the landing page. So basically what happens is any girl and all of you, by the way, will start your experience by going to gsnutsandmags.com slash gsnipen. Now you don't have to remember that because it's in all the materials that is being, uh, is being all the materials that are being handed out to you and to the troop leaders um, and then ultimately to the girls. But once you land, come to the landing page and you'll know that you're in the right spot because it'll say Girl Scouts of NIPEN right here. Um, this is a test site just for um, training purposes where I can show you exactly how this works. So if you see different rewards in here that are set up a little bit differently than um, your actual uh, program, it's only because this is a test site. But let me show you that by one click of the button, you can translate the site into Spanish and then translate that right back if you want to. And before I move forward with the girls experience, I wanna point out there's a volunteer button here. This volunteer button is where all of you will manage your roles. You'll start right here by clicking volunteer. There's a green bar here. And although it seems to be a superficial green bar, try to picture this as a wall, the edge of a wall that goes right through the middle of the website. Once you're in as a volunteer, you can't break through that wall to the girl and parent, uh, the girl and parent experience because there's a lot of sensitive information that's available to you as a volunteer, and we only want you to be able to access that and then log out when you're done. If you want to get into the parent-girl experience, you need to log in on this side. However, 
even though we could have built it differently, we built it the way that we did to protect all the sensitive information. But we did provide the opportunity for you to have the use the email address and password here that you would use up here as well. So you only need one username and password and you can use them at either one of the login um, situations. Now, once you're in as a volunteer, if you're also uh, as a service unit manager, if you're also a troop leader, once you're in the system, you can toggle back and forth between those two different roles. Or if you're a parent with multiple girls um, in the family that are part of Girl Scouts, you can toggle back and forth between the girl accounts after each one of the girl accounts has been, been loaded. So I will show you how easy this is. Simply all the girls of GS Nightpen will go ahead and for the first time hit the register button. Then they'll go ahead and they'll put in the zip code associated with where they live so that our system knows that they are at the right place. And then the parent will simply enter their information and that includes, I'm sorry, that includes their email address and confirming that email address. That's all they have to do and then that'll be their username when they log in. Create a password very quickly, confirm that password and they are off and running. They click register and then there's five steps to the registration process. The basics page, the create an avatar. Participating in the Girl Scout product programs. As you move through this activity, follow the prompts to create a personalized site where friends and family can shop online to help you reach your goal. Enter your troop number and search for your name. If you go... Now, I don't know if you could hear that through this um, online system, but what that is, is this is a parent training video, we call it, where the avatar is talking in her voice, explaining to the parents and the girls exactly how to use this site. They can watch it in its entirety, which is only two minutes long, or they can go ahead and pause it and then simply follow the prompts. I will show you what the prompts are. First prompt is enter your troop number. And if they don't know or see the troop number, that's okay. They can click on, I don't know, or see my troop number. And then council will move them to the correct troop in the background. Then the girls will go ahead and start typing in their last name. And as long as their name has been uploaded in the system, it'll start to show up as they type and they can go ahead and enter that um, and select that name. Once they select their name, they won't be able to alter the last name or the first name. However, we provide them the opportunity to put in a nickname telling us that that's what most people know them by. And that's what they would like on the correspondence that goes out to their potential customers. The third thing on this page is simply to tell us what does Girl Scouting mean to you? I can learn important lifelong skills. I can become a leader. I can help other people. I can make the world a better place. And then confirm what the goal is. Now your goal is gonna be $250 in total sales. That's each girl's goal that is built into the system and that's what will appear right here. They can increase that goal, they can decrease that goal, or they can leave the goal the same and go on to the last question of, what is your troop plan to do with the money that you earn during this program? I live right in Delaware and right off of I-95, which heads um, down to Washington, D.C. I also have a sister-in-law that roomed with um, the girl in college, roomed with the girl who became President Obama's White House tour director, which means she set up every single tour for eight years that went through the White House. And so I was able to, through text messaging, uh, get anybody added to the list at any time without a waiting period, which means I was able to send a lot of girls from this area down to the White House to tour it. Um, so I always like to put that because I think that is something that is a creative and fun thing for the girls to be able to do. But what we do with that information is we build a paragraph that will help um, in, in, uh, educate potential customers as to why the girl is in Girl Scouts, what her goal is, and then what she plans to do with the money because we feel that is an important um, way for customers to be motivated to make purchases. That paragraph, I'll show you where that lands, but that'll end up landing on the girl's uh, storefronts. Then step number two, create your avatar. We have, we have so many options in this system that you could build over 3 billion different avatars from skin tone to hairstyle. And we wanna make sure that every single girl that comes and creates their avatar has the ability to no matter what her situation is, be able to build an avatar that looks like herself. So once we settle on a hairstyle that, that we like, um, that reflects our own, we go ahead and pick our own hair color. And then we can go ahead and highlight that hair with certain different colors as well if we, do, if we have highlights in our own hair. We can go ahead and um, make the facial features match our own as best as possible. 
we can pick our eye color and then we can accessorize our face or um, pick the other facial features like the nose, the mouth, maybe there's braces, maybe there's freckles, maybe there's freckles with braces that we have on. And because of the times that we're in, we can also put a mask on our avatar as well. Um, now I'm not going to choose the, the mask on the avatar because I wanna show you another really cool feature where I'd like you to see the mouth of the girl. So I will leave that um, mask off for now. And then we can pick a body type a little bit shorter um, with a wheelchair or a little bit taller. We can pick a little bit wider, a little bit thinner, and then we can choose the uniform that goes on our avatar as well as the GIRL t-shirt, which is also an option. I'll leave the GIRL t-shirt on for her. Then we can pick our, our bottom, shorts, skirt, or long pants. Um, and then there we can choose different types of shoes. Now we have lots and lots of different types of shoes because shoes we understand are very important to girls and that's how they sometimes like to identify themselves by the shoes that they select to wear for a particular day. So everything from, um, uh, everything back from um, high tops to slippers, to vans, to um, Crocs, Uggs, hiking boots, flip-flops, all different colors, sparkly flats, um, cowboy boots, slippers, slippers that go ahead and reflect the plush of the year. A few years ago, we had a bunny. A couple years ago, the moose. Last year, the northern white rhino. And this year, the sloth, of course. So we could go ahead and settle on a pair of shoes. And then we accessorize with some glasses, if we have glasses, or we like sunglasses, or a tiara with glasses. We can even put a bow on top of our head with some more glasses. Um, or, uh, there we go, I like the aviators as well. So once we're done creating the avatar to look like ourselves, we can also make her sound like ourselves. Last year, the girls that made the avatar sound like themselves sold 50% more than the girls that didn't. Let me show you how easy it is. Simply hit the record button. Allow us to access the um, re, uh, microphone in the computer, and then we provide a sample script. The girls can choose their own script, choose to write their own script, or practice our sample script. And when they're ready to record, simply hit the record button. I love being in Girl Scouts. We get to do so many fun things like camping, canoeing, and rock climbing. We make friends for life and help other people and animals too. Will you please help us earn the money we need by shopping online? After we record our voice, we can close out that window and then see our avatar talking the way the other customers will see it. I love being in Girl Scouts. We get to do so many fun things like camping, canoeing, and rock climbing. We make friends for life and help other people and animals too. Will you please help us earn the money we need by shopping online? So again, the girls who added their voice to the avatar last year ended up selling on average 50% more than the girls that didn't because we believe customers are motivated by creativity, ingenuity, and, um, and actual the, hearing the girl's voice. When they hear that avatar talk, they, they just seem to be more motivated to make those purchases and the statistics show as such. Moving on to step number three, we can go ahead and personalize our site even more. And look at this, our site just rewarded the girl with a digital reward for creating her avatar. We know what motivates um, customers, and so we will reward those different actions. Other things that motivate the customers to make a purchase is to see an actual photo of the girl or a video that the girl has created on her own. With TikTok and Instagram these days, you can bet that girls are able to create a video and no upload it with very much ease. They use their phones, they splice these videos together. They already do that for uh, social media. They can easily do it here if they'd like to get more sales. Um, and we provide the opportunity for them to do that. But we also highlight the fact that they have just created their avatar and now they can earn a patch with that avatar on it. And in your case, it'll say send 15 emails through the system and reach $250 in total sales to earn the patch that you see on the screen. We simply go to the final step in the program before we can launch it, and that is putting in the email addresses. We can type in email addresses one at a time, and every time after we type one email address, a new line opens up, allowing us to type in more email addresses, and then we count down how many email addresses are required in order to earn an additional reward. Or, watch this, we built into the system the ability to go ahead and click on your email platform. Now I use, um, I don't use Yahoo, I don't use Gmail, a lot of people do, I use Outlook. So when I click on Outlook, 
just like that, I'm gonna have 680 some different email addresses show up on the screen where I can go ahead and select or deselect any of the email addresses in my computer and simply click add those to the system. If I click this button, all 600, in this case, 63 email addresses will show up right here on the screen. And then I simply click the button that says launch your campaign. Now I'm gonna launch it with only one email address and of course the system will allow me to do that, reminding me that if I put in more email addresses, I'll have more success and earn more digital rewards. After I've launched my program, our system is in the process right now of creating an email to go to all the email addresses that I had put in the system before I launched my program. Since I've launched it, now I've created a storefront and we have the opportunity to share our storefront on Facebook. I told you before, a 50% increase on average for the girls that add their voice to the avatar. Well, here's last year, 27% of our revenue came from girls that shared their storefront on their parents' Facebook page. I clicked a button once, I can type in anything that I want to say to my uh, followers, and then I can click post to Facebook. And girls, once again, that do this, will re realize an average of a 27% boost in their sales at least. So after we've shared our storefront on social media, we have the opportunity to build our patch. And this is very easy and fun as well. We can select our first name to be at the top of the patch, our nickname, or our initials. We can select the background where the girl's sitting on the hammock or sitting in the kayak with the sloth swimming behind her. And once we create the patch to look exactly like we want it, we lock it in and simply put our mailing address in. Save that information and our system will show the girl and the parent what to look for in their mailbox after the system realizes they have earned the patch and sent it into production. Several weeks later, the patch arriving in the mailbox with this envelope um, and they simply confirm that. Now, in order to show you how else this system works and how to manage this, the, the, um, the program, manage her business, the girl, every time she logs back in after this, lands on her dashboard, and this is where she will manage her entire program. I call it the campaign headquarters. She can change her photos, she can change her avatar, she can update her Girl Scout details. For instance, have the girl keep track of where she is along, along the progress bar, because we believe that customers are motivated um, in part by wanting to help the girl reach her goal or exceed her goal. Now, if the girl has already reached her goal and it's mid, mid campaign, have her go back in and make her goal even higher so that the progress bar does not reach 100%. And therefore, any other customers that come to her site after um, she's changed her goal will say, oh my gosh, my purchase will help her reach that goal because she's doing really cool things um, and this money will help out. So they will uh, be motivated, we believe, to buy more products. The parents can click on this and add another girl to the program and then manage up here in the um, sign in, they can manage and pick whichever daughter they're managing at the time. We are encouraging all the parents to enter the results of their paper order card in the system for the volunteers. So please understand that we have left this open from day one all the way throughout the program for the parents to go ahead and enter the totals of the order card sales right here. They will be able to put in in very quick um, uh, process how many items they sold for each individual product item that Ashton Farms provides and they simply hit update. Now please understand that if the girl sells um, has a great first weekend of selling she can go ahead and enter those sales right away and then has another great weekend of selling after that. She can come back in here and she can update those orders that she has collected with the total orders sold. So this won't be another entry. All it is doing is entering the new totals that she has sold um, and then hitting the update button. So that at the end of the program, hopefully all the parents have done this um, themselves and the troop leaders don't have to put in any or very many other order cards that have yet to be put in. Service unit leaders, if there's any um, total, uh, any order cards that have not put in the system by the parent or the troop leader, by the time you have the opportunity to do it, you can do it and help them as well. They can click on the email button and see all the different email addresses that have left the system or been put into the system before they 
um, launch their program. And there's a colored dot next to every email address. You'll see this come up a little bit later too in the troop uh, dashboard. But the color of the dot um, demonstrates what's happened to that email. In this case, it's still in queue for sending out of our system. When it turns bright yellow, it means that the email has left the system and been sent to that uh, customer. If it turns green, the girl will be able to see that that customer opened up the email. And if it turns blue, that means the customer already made a purchase and the girl can go to her reports and see what was bought. Um, if it's a red triangle, it'll tell everybody, you know what, that email address was not valid. It bounced back to us and so therefore you can go ahead and you can um, update the email address and then hit resend. You can always add more email addresses after you've launched your program by using that button as well. Reports, reports, reports. I will talk about reports until um, I'm blue in the face today because that is one of the really awesome features for volunteers, for girls and parents as well as us. We have built a really great reporting system. All the reports that you're used to and even more. You can see all the reports by total sales, by magazine sales only, maybe by just direct ship nuts, or maybe online nut girl delivered items, um, or maybe what we purchased, or you can see it as a big um, summary right here. Categories listed here. These are the nut order card items I just put into the system. Every report, and by the way, there's a summary of everything right here at your fingertips. Every report that is in the system can be printed. It can be downloaded to a PDF file. It can be exported to Excel, or it can be emailed to a specific person. Um, simply by putting in the email address, hitting email, our system will send that report that's up on the screen out to whatever email address you provide to us. So creating an opportunity for you to be able to uh, provide any troop leaders with some information and help as needed. I will go out of the reports and go back. Oh, by the way, you keep seeing me click on the house. That means that's how you get back to your dashboard. Personalized sales flyers is a great tool for the girls to be able to click on and print out and hand it to specific customers. When they print on it, there'll be a picture of their avatar, the paragraph they built during the registration process, a QR code, and then directions if they don't use QR for them to simply type in this URL and then type in the girls personalized uh, storefront. The rest of the flyer, um, when it actually is in the system, will list all the different, a lot of different magazine titles, frequencies of, um, of the subscription, pricing, and give the girl and the customer a great bird's eye view of all the different offerings that are available on the magazine side. Here's a great sales tool. This is, these are business cards. The girl is very entrepreneurial. She's business minded. She's learning lots of different things. So why not give her a business card? When she clicks on business card, her personal business cards will show up on the screen just like that with a picture of her avatar and then directions for the customer to follow. Simply go to this URL, type in the, um, the or cut and paste the, uh, the um, uh, special code and that will get them into that girl's storefront so that everything they buy will be credited to that girl and the girl will earn the proceeds, the troop will earn the proceeds, the girl will earn the rewards and everybody is successful. They can print this out as many times as they want to, use some scissors, cut them up and have a stack of business cards. I always suggest that when they're talking to customers with their not order card in hand, to go ahead and simply say, you know what, thank you for buying those yummy Nash and Farm nuts and chocolates to help me along with my goal. But if you have any magazines that you're also getting at home, do you know that you can renew them through me for the same price that you renew them anyway? And I will be able to reach my goal even faster. So here's the directions on how to do it on my business card. Again, the customer will say, wow, that is very creative. That is, that's unbelievable. I would be happy to help you. Um, all the girl needs to do is, is ask that customer to do it. A couple other features I want to point out before we get back to the, um, the regular PowerPoint. All the rewards I mentioned before will live live in our system. This is where they actually are accumulated, they're tracked, they're selected, and the, um, they're, f they're fulfilled based off of all the information in here. Based on the girls' sales, these will automatically be calculated. There's a scrolling banner of some of the most popular rewards and then what it takes to earn those rewards, as well as every reward in the system is listed and the criteria is right below the name of the reward. 
If the girl reaches a reward through her sales, our system will put an earned banner across it. And if they earn a reward level where there's a choice, it'll show radio buttons next to each choice after it's been earned so that the girl can select which reward she would like. That automatically tallies everything, nothing more to do. Our system will calculate it and then um, all the rewards will come to the service units for you to distribute to the troops, for them to distribute to the girls accordingly and based off of their choices. So I wanted to point all of that out. That is a great way. Our system, by the way, if the girl does earn a certain reward level where there is a choice and the girl doesn't make the choice, our system will send out email reminders to the girl. All the way up until the end of the program, we'll send a reminder saying the program's about to end. You still haven't made a reward choice. If you don't make it, we'll make it for you. And I promise you 99.9% .9 of all the rewards will be chosen by the end of the program based off of that email. However, troop leaders and you can go ahead and make a choice um, for that girl if she doesn't and we are about to close out the, the site for her to make those choices. Lastly, real quickly, <clears throat> there's an avatar room. This is one of the reasons girls come back time and time again because not only do they see all the digital rewards they've earned from doing different things and then they can see what it takes to earn more. For instance, sell one nut and chocolate at them, I'll get another one. Um, this is personalize your site with a photo of yourself. This will be um, a must uh, earn, earn the actual personalized patch. So all, after they've met all these requirements, they'll earn all these different digital rewards. But you see this photo, they can click on it. And they do, they like to see this because this troop photo will show them the avatars of all their other friends and what the friends have um, done with their avatars as well as the avatars that their troop leader has created. So the girls like to see not only their friends, but also that their troop leader was able to create the avatar patches. So please make sure the girls understand that this troop photo is available in the site. You do not need to have the troop leaders create their avatar, bring in a picture of their avatar and show it to the girls because they can simply say, I created my own avatar. And if you wanna see it, go register online, launch your program with 15 or more email addresses to earn the patch for doing so, and then click on the avatar room so you can see everybody else's avatar. So that pretty much wraps up the entire um, ability to manage your campaign. And by the way, the top sellers in every troop will keep um, updated so that as girls sell more and more throughout the program, they can see the top sellers in their troop along with everything else. So that is the, um, the online experience that the girl and the parent will experience. Let me go back to the um, PowerPoint and continue on with everything else. So we've talked about the registration page, um, the landing page where you log in and the parents and the girls log in. We've talked about the, um, the putting in the zip code, choosing your troop putting in the nickname and letting us know what Girl Scouting means to you, what your, uh, what your goal is and what the troop plans to do with the money. Building the avatar, three billion different options on how to not only make the avatar look like yourself, but sound like yourself with two clicks of the button and recording your voice. 50% increase for those that record their voice, as well as other increases if they go ahead and add a picture of themselves and or a video of themselves promoting, the, um, promoting their own campaign and then displaying the personalized patch so the girls can get a little bit excited before they go ahead and put in the email addresses, um, totaling at least 15 to receive extra rewards, extra patches, and extra success. And by the way, another statistic I believe you will be interested in hearing is in year number one, 2013, the girls that went into the system, created their avatar, and launched their program with emails averaged $80 in online sales. That was seven seasons ago. This is the eighth season. Last year, that average went up to $180. So every girl that went into the system last year, on average, generated $180 in online sales only, not including the nut order card sales. So we have made it a lot easier for them to acquire orders and rewards, as well as really great experiences through all the money they're earning. We talked about a 27% increase on average for those girls that share their storefront on their parents' Facebook page. We already talked about the personalized patches and that if the girls want to 
design their own, they can do so um, with their first name, last name, or initials, and then choose in the two, one of the two different backgrounds. And they get to do that when they launch their online program with only 15 or more email addresses of friendly and friends, and then reach $250 in total sales, and that the patches are sent directly to them. I showed you how to build your patch, um, how the girls will be able to build their patch, put their address in, and then save all that information and then see the envelope that will be delivered to them with their patch in it after it's gone into production and mailed out. We talked about the campaign headquarters and all the different things they can do with managing paper orders, emails, reports, business cards, rewards, the avatar room, um, and everything else about um, going back and adding and changing the the goal or the avatar or anything else in the system that they created initially. The avatar room was displayed where they can click on the uh, troop photo. They can see all the digital rewards as well. <clears throat> One thing that I haven't told you yet is we have a second patch this year and that second patch also has the avatar on it. It is our way to be a, continue to try to be a good partner for GS9 pen by helping out with the cookie program as well as helping generate extra um, awareness for the fall program. By that I mean there's a lot of girls that participate in the cookie program and a lot of girls that would love a patch. However, not as many girls typically participate in the fall program. So with your help, you can make sure people understand that, hey, listen, if you want this patch and you're a great seller in the cookie program, all you need to do this year is go into the system during fall, create your avatar, launch your online program with um, 15 or more email addresses in order to qualify for this patch. We make the criteria very easy in the fall to help not only build the fall program, but also um, generate extra sales during your cookie program. Our system after the fall program is over is going to go ahead and email each of the girls that launched their online program with 15 or more email addresses. It'll say thank you, congratulations on a great program you just completed. Here is a picture of the patch that you are well on your way to earning. It'll have this patch in the email with the girls avatar on it. And it'll say all you now need to do is in the upcoming cookie program, sell 55 plus cookies through the digital online um, cookie program this coming 2021 and you will automatically earn this patch as well. So please uh, make sure all the troop leaders understand that if the girls want this really cool patch that they just need to at least launch their online program during the um, uh, during this fall. Our system will send out an email after the girl launches her program to each of those customers whose email uh, whom, whose email address was provided. The email will look like this, going out to the customers. It'll address each customer by the name provided by the Girl Scout and talk about the program, provide links to their girl's online magazine store, uh, her nut and chocolate storefront, and as well as a link to say, if you would like to hear the special message that my avatar would like to tell you, please click here. When the customers click there, this window opens up, they simply hit play, and the avatar will be under the spotlight delivering the message in the girl's voice that, um, that the girl recorded. Again, a 50% increase in sales for those girls that add their voice to the avatar. This is a look at the personalized storefront for the girls on the magazine side and on the nut and chocolate side. And notice front and center on each storefront is the girl's avatar, the progress bar, how far she is along with her goal, and the paragraph that was created when she orig originally registered explaining to the customer why she likes Girl Scouts, what her goal is, and what her troop plans to do with the money. All three of these things were purposely inserted into here with the idea that something hopefully will trigger that customer to make that purchase and be supportive of that girl's goals and her experiences. When the customer chooses the nut and chocolate storefront, our system will display this window at the beginning of the experience, offering the offering the customer the opportunity to have all the items they're about to buy be delivered directly by the girl herself um, when they arrive, or by choosing, I prefer the convenience of having those items shipped directly to me through FedEx, like Todd told you about, and I don't mind paying for shopping. They're making a conscious decision to say, I don't mind paying for shopping, I'll select this. Now, depending which option they choose, whether it be the girl delivered option or uh, delivered by FedEx, we'll go ahead and um, determine what items are available on the storefront. If they choose Girl Delivered, it'll just be the items that are on, this, on the um, Nut Order card, including the, op, 
the opportunity to donate items um, as Todd had explained. Or if they choose the FedEx option, it'll be about 36 different items, including the one that was taken off the, uh, the list last year, the coconut cashews, as well as the dark chocolate peppermint pretzels, the mocha cups, the jumbo, jumbo cashews, the caramel corn, last year's vintage Girl Scout tin with the mint treasures. All of those different items will also show up on the storefront if the customer is choosing to have the items sent, sent directly to them. We've talked about managing paper orders. You will have a link on your dashboard. The troop leaders will have a link on their dashboard as you already saw the girls have a link on their dashboard that says manage paper orders. At any time, you can click on that link and see which troops have already started putting in paper orders. You can, um, you can click on that a little bit further. I'll go through um, a little bit later, but you can click on um, your, your specific troops and then see all the different girls as they've entered it. There's a screen coming up that will demonstrate that. But again, this is a very easy way to do it. And reports, reports, reports. I told you I'd talk about it several times throughout this presentation. Please understand that this reporting system is something for you to all enjoy. Now, how can you get in the fun? I've told you that you will be able to. You'll be able to actually create your own avatar. You'll be able to earn your own patch and you get in on the fun with a dashboard as well. So let's talk about that. So about a week before the program starts, each of you and your troop leaders will all receive an invite email from the system addressed to you with your username in there as well as a link to get you started. Once each of you click on the link, you'll be able to, to um, personalize and customize your own password. Then what happens is the troop leaders will be forced to watch a um, about a seven minute training video. That's called the troop training video. And that means that they will be, um, they will be trained on every link on their dashboard. Every link on their dashboard is very self-explanatory. Again, this system is so user-friendly, it's crazy. This oversimplifies it for them. It goes through every single click and exactly what it does and how to access it. You also have a link on your dashboard that will say troop training video, but you're not required to watch it at any time. I do recommend you do click on it and spend seven minutes learning uh, about every uh, link on your dashboard as well, because that troop training video is not just for troops, it's also for service units. After the troop training video is watched, both of you, you and the troop leaders will be able to create your own avatar and create your own patch. And then we built in a really cool system for the troop leaders. After they've created their avatar, after they created their patch, they can simply with one click of the button, activate their parent guardian email blast. What does that mean? Well, all the email addresses of the parents are already in the system waiting for the troop leader. And we just require them to activate it. They take the action because the email will come from their email address. And it'll go directly to their parents that the, of the girls that are in their troop. It's not required that the parents re, uh, receive an email for them to get started. It is simply a reminder because we know that not all girls share every single thing with their parents after a troop meeting, um, whether it be in person or via Zoom. And so we wanna make sure the parents are in the know as well. Now the, the troop leaders can activate this and then this window will also pop up. What happens is about a week before the program, when all of you are, are invited to log into the system for the very first time, they can activate it, but the emails won't actually leave the system until day one of the campaign. On day one of the campaign, all the emails will flow out of the system to all the parents, and then the troop leaders can pull up this page and it'll show just like the girls were able to see what happened to the email addresses. This is also very important information because why, why is the girl not participating? Did the mom or the dad even open up the email? If it hasn't been opened, they'll be able to see that. Um, has it been delivered? Confirm that it's been delivered. We'll be able to see, maybe it was bounced. Maybe the email address that's in the system wasn't correct and we can call or contact that girl or the parent and say, what's your, what's your email address? Correct it in the system and then simply hit the resend button. 100% sales increase last year for troops that activated this with one click of the button. Um, so if the troops want to get some extra funds and have a successful program, I would highly recommend you motivate them to simply activate their parent guardian email blast. At any time, they can go in and add more email addresses. Let's just say there's a divorce situation and only mom's email address in there, but we know dad 
spends time with the daughter as well. And we know he's very supportive, so we'll add his name in there if he, in case he wants to participate and get in on the fun as well. The troop dashboard, everything will look pretty much exactly like this, except actually we just turned, changed our graphing. Um, so this will be bar graphs going out from left to right um, based off the amount of success of every category, including total sales, magazines only, direct ship nuts, online girl delivered nuts, order card nuts, and every uh, volunteer can go ahead and update the avatar. They can see all the different avatars, emails, photos, and videos uploaded into the system and watch these numbers grow over the, over the first few days, the first few weeks of the program, because as these grow, they will directly affect your total sales. Again, the more people who get involved will result in higher sales. The dashboard for the girls, the, the troops, will include the troop training video that they can watch again at any time they'd like to, to be reminded of what all these different links are and what they mean. Send message, manage girls and troops, manage admin users, banking and payments, all the reports, a troop summary report, where it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a thumbnail sketch of their entire summary of their program. Paper order entry, rewards, personalized patches, all of that is available on the troop dashboard. One of the items, imagine this, this is great and it has taken um, foothold over the last many years. It's a messaging system. Imagine you wanting to reach out to your troop leaders right now. In order to do so, you go to your email, you click new email, you type a subject line in, you type the body of the, and then you gotta make sure that every email address of your troops or troop leaders are in there before you hit send. Not necessary anymore. When you click on messaging through our system, we already have their email addresses for you. And we know what troop leaders are associated with your service unit. So if you want to click on messages, you go ahead and select what kind of announcement you wanna to send to your troop leaders. Maybe you wanna send a message to everybody or only those who have not yet logged in, encouraging them to do so, or all the, those that have logged in, thanking them for doing so. And then you uh, type in the, the uh, message and you simply hit send and our system will get it out for you to every troop leader. The troop leaders can do that for the girls and the parents too. They can go ahead and select general announcement to send out to everybody or a thank you to everybody. Or maybe they wanna send out a message to the girls that have tried to log in, but not yet quite launched their program saying, hey, I saw you were trying, but you didn't complete it as I see, would you like some extra help? Um, so the girl, the troop leaders can be supportive and help that girl learn a little bit more about email marketing, how the tech works and everything else. Very helpful system. I mentioned I'd come back to this page. When you click on manage paper orders on your dashboard, this page will open up. It'll start with all the troops in your service unit. You can click on a troop and then it'll show all the girls in that troop. At any time, if anybody needs a report of what they entered, you can simply hit email and they'll go directly to that parent. You don't have to type an email, you don't have to do anything. When you click on this, the email will automatically go directly to the parent um, without you needing to do anything else. Uh, pull up her orders that she's already entered or enter them for her, that's as simple as it is, and you will hit the update button when you're done, just like the girl did. Girl rewards, I showed you that. Everything resides in the system. You have a link, the troop leaders have a link, the girls have a link. You can click on rewards after what, and, and if you have any questions on this, just simply watch the troop training video, but understand all the rewards are calculated automatically in the system, nothing for anybody else to do. To view the rewards, simply click on the, the, um, the link on the dashboard, the girls, if they didn't make their choices, you'll be able to see that they didn't make their choices, but no, no need to worry because our system will do the work of reminding the girls. All the reports regarding rewards and products and everything else is available as well. When they click on troop banking and payments, they'll be able to see their gross sales, all that's been purchased online by their customers, the total troop proceeds that have already been earned, and any balance that is due to the council or due to the troop from the council as well as the opportunity, the troop leaders can go ahead and, and, and use our ledger system. So when a parent pays them for the certain products, it'll go ahead and they can print in, type in how much was paid, how was it paid, and then it'll reflect that in their overall reports that the girl sold this amount, she paid this amount, everything's even. Um, so they can see that as well through the banking and payments. And reports, reports, reports. One tab I do want to point out for you is enjoy the summary report tab. When you click on the summary report, 
your screen will show everything there is to know about the campaign on one page, broken out by category, proceeds, everything on there for you to see. This, your dashboard looks very similar to the troop leaders dashboard. The bar graph will, will appear this year. It won't be the bell graph. And as these numbers grow, these numbers will grow as well. Again, you can see everything about every link on your system, including uh, uh, when you view on the troop training video. One link you will not see until after the initial order is placed by council to Ashton Farms is a delivery ticket link. That will appear right over here. And when you go ahead and click on that link, you'll be able to utilize and print out and generate any kind of delivery ticket necessary, whether it be by product, by reward, by service unit, by troop, by girl, um, with financials, without financials. In, um, all of those features are available. You can email them, you can print them. They are super, super easy. Um, and I encourage you, once that delivery ticket um, link comes up, enjoy perusing through it and generating all kinds of different delivery tickets um, to satisfy whatever you exactly need. We talked about the um, patches that you can earn and compliments to me for being here today. You get your own service unit um, program manager patch simply when the first dollar is realized in your service unit. Your patch will go into production. So when you log into the system for the first time, make that avatar look, look like you. Have fun doing it and then create your patch with your mailing address. And that will, allow, that will um, ensure that you'll get your patch sooner than later. The troops, again, once the system realizes that they have reached $750 in total sales, the troop leaders are the, that are already in the system, up to two patches per troop, will be sent to the troop leaders. Um, so encourage them as well to get into the system. Long story short, please help us out a little bit um, by reminding the troops that the email will be coming about a week before the program and that, the, um, uh, that they'll be encouraged and provided with a tr uh, troop training video to watch, then they can create their avatar. Now, the troops and you, you'll be getting your email on September 20, or yeah, September 21st. So that's the date. If September 22nd comes and you, nobody's seen the email or somebody hasn't seen them, reach out to, uh, ask the troop leaders to reach out to you because you'll have a way to generate that e regenerate that email to that troop leader. Um, or if you haven't received your email, reach out to council because the council can regenerate very easily an email that goes to you. Encourage the troops to activate their parent guardian email blast. No, somebody else. Ethan, what are you making? They're bothering me. Any chance to, there we go. Um, so encur please encourage the troop leaders to activate their parent guardian email blast so that all the parents um, you know, in the entire council will receive an email um, encouraging them to participate so that they will be able to be in the know. And imagine a girl that didn't even know about the, the opportunity to earn the cookie crossover patch. Um, she'd be disappointed if she didn't know. So please encourage them to let the parents in on, on the fun and please emphasize the simplicity of the online girl delivered. The money is all collected online through every purchase that is made online and the girls will simply deliver those items. The program, the program will begin on uh, October the 9th. All in-person girl order taking and online girl delivered items will be uh, ending on November 13th, which is also the last day the parents can enter their paper orders online. The troop leaders will have two extra days to help any parents that weren't able to get their orders entered into the system. And that is also the amount of time that you will be able to have. So all of you will be having two extra days to help get any straggling orders entered that the parents weren't able to get or order uh, entered online. All the online orders for direct ship nuts and magazines will end on December 5th. Um, and then the service unit nut deliveries will be coming through Ashton Farms and your delivery agent um, starting on December 2nd all the way through December 5th as well. The last slide of the day, besides the, the final slide, is to let you know that we have a wonderful customer service team at M2 Media who handles um, all and any customer service questions, whether it be through the volunteers, through the girls, through the parents, through the customers. It doesn't matter who calls us. We and our team have the all, 
all the details of your program at our fingertips. And our customer service team, which is located up in Ohio, are awaiting the calls to come in. They will handle every single question, whether it be a tech question, a product question, a subscription question, or a reward question. Anything we can't answer, we'll simply pass it back to the, um, the council. But I promise you, probably 1% of all the questions we get are things that we can answer and only the council can. So 99% of all the questions um, that need to be answered, our team can handle them for you. If you need to, take your uh, phone out and take a quick picture of this um, before I go on to the next slide. I can always come back if you need me to. And Doug, let, oh, sorry. Doug, real quick, any way we can go back to the date slide just real quick. I think people have a lot of questions about the dates. Yes. Thank you. And that really, uh, I'll leave this up for, for a little bit, but that really wraps up my part of the presentation. And with Todd and I both being done, um, if there's any other questions, um, I know we'll, we'll stay online until the last person logs off, but here's a great opportunity to type in any last minute questions that maybe didn't get answered, or um, we'll, we'll go over those questions. Um, you know, one by one and make sure that we've answered them. So thank you very much, everybody, for putting up with listening to me. Um, and hopefully I was able to put a smile on your face or raise an eyebrow with how fun this system is, how easy it is, and how successful all of you can be by using our program. Thank you very much. And I wish you, along with Ashton Nuts, I'm sure, Todd, we all wish you a very um, great season. Good luck to everybody. And we'll stay on. All right, thank you so much everybody for spending um, this morning with us. I hope you guys can get a chance to go outside and enjoy this weather. Um, I'm really excited about this season. Um, I'm very excited to be working with all of you again, any new members, and um, I think it's gonna be a really fun season, especially with that awesome avatar. I can't wait to create mine. I haven't done that yet. So um, that's it. Thanks so much, everybody. I just wanna jump in and um, right here, what Jacqueline said, thank you very much. And we will be going back through the um, questions here. Um, so we may not get to everything right away, but we will get back to you with an answer. Somebody will either reach out to you or we'll, we'll, we'll get it out there for everybody to see. Can you go back to the other page with all of, um, the contact information? Thank you. The slide deck, we're going to be able to provide that, correct? For them to review, that will be put out there. Uh, yes. Um, and Jacqueline, do you need me to send you this or do you have the one that you can share? I'll take your updated one. Um, and just to let everybody know, we are going to be having a caregiver um, training at the end of September. So it'll go over pretty much in great detail all of this information, but focus on the site itself. So like the second half of the training will be um, at the end of September. Um, it'll be in the evening. And um, so we can, so any of your caregivers that want to hop on, please you know, tell them to join us. It'll be September 30th at 6.30 p.m. And that information will be going out um, shortly, sometime this week. So if you missed it or if you, you know, want to hear it again, I, I mean, a little refresher doesn't ever hurt anybody. So it'll be fantastic. That's right. And I'll provide a PDF version of this so it's easily downloadable yeah. and doesn't take up as much space on your computers.